I'm the Lloyd Macedo, we you from LloydMacedo.com. Who is Lloyd Macedo and Think Personal Branding? The date is July 13th, 2018. Time right now is uh, 3.30 in the morning. Morning, morning, morning. It's so nice when it's quiet. Nobody disturbs you. Okay, I got this question from one of my readers, viewers, whatever. And the question that he sent me was, Lloyd, from where do you get these ideas of yours for YouTube? Uh, you get lots of ideas, so from where do you get them? So, uh, you know, the, the general assumption is I get my ideas because I read these books, which, ah, sorry, I'm bit my tongue. Yeah, uh, which is kind of true. Uh, I do get ideas from books if I read books and I look books. However, lately what I've found out is for my YouTube, I'm just talking about YouTube, uh, these topics, what I realized is I get ideas when my adrenaline, that is, uh, you know, when you do exercise and your blood is pumping and you're putting effort, when your adrenaline is high, you know, that flight or fight response, uh, when I bring in oxygen into my system and when I'm exercising, that's when I get great ideas. But if I just sit down and I'm feeling lazy and lethargic and doing 100 things like listening to YouTube and watching the news and eating food and playing a game, if my senses are bombarded with too many things, I can't. However, if I were to go for a long run, uh, by a long run, I'm talking about can be like for half an hour to one hour. That's a long run. I know it's not very long, but anyway, slow run. I'm talking of like three to five kilometers. When I go there, no earphones, nothing, but just thinking about whatever problem that I have. Like, for example, YouTube, what are the topics I should talk about in YouTube? So what I do is I keep that thought in my head. I go for a slow run. And as I'm running, I'm only thinking about that. I'm looking, but I'm also thinking about the topics. I'm just visualizing as it goes. So it's, it's like it just goes into a like blank stare, you know? So even though I'm looking front, it's like a blank stare. So I keep thinking of these ideas and whatever ideas I get in my mind, obviously I don't have a paper and pen to note it down. So what I do is I, I, I visualize each idea. So for example, um, if I got a topic, one of the topics that I got is uh, confidence. Okay, one of the videos that I put confidence. So when I thought, okay, I put a video on confidence because I had this incident where this guy was overconfident. So I look at confidence as a nose, you know, uh, like Cleopatra had a you know, very proud nose. So confidence I see as nose and I exaggerate it. I obviously, I look at my face having a very big nose with hair hanging out. So it looks kind of funny. So that's the first image that I have. And then as I was running, I was thinking this actually, I thought, I, I thought about the, a question that someone had asked me, how do you find a mentor? So I just imagined in my head, you know, as I'm running, I'm getting ideas, okay? Okay, one is, okay, ignorance, arrogance, pride, that's with the nose, like the Cleopatra nose, like the Sphinx having a nose, and the hairs coming out of the nose, just to make it exaggerated. And then from the nose, I saw the face of my mentor coming out. Like, you know, the more exaggerated you make it, the more you'll remember. So I saw my mentor's head popping out of the nose and looking at me. So I was like, okay, so first is confidence, overconfidence with the nose, and then is the mentor. So I keep thinking, I keep thinking and associating, like connecting one idea to the next idea to the next to the next. So these topics are connected. Uh, so obviously, if I were to tell you nose, you would see my mentor coming out next. And the third one was uh, the topic that I thought about was how to overcome depression, depression when you're sad, when you're broken. So I saw my mentor's face being smashed by someone or something and breaking into millions of pieces of blood coming out. It's breaking like brittle, like glass, you know? So it's depression breaks you. So first one was the nose, the pride. Second one was the mentor popping out. Third one was someone smashing his face, so bringing depression. So confidence, overconfidence, mentor, how to find a mentor, and third one is depression. And from the depression, obviously, I was thinking of what topic to put out next. And then I thought about, uh, you know, where I nearly lost my YouTube channel. This actually happened. So after my mentor's face broke up, I connected it with by saying a YouTube logo comes out of his face after he breaks up from his flesh, you know. So now if I were to ask you to go back, because these, these 
associations are so ridiculous. So you have the YouTube logo, then you have the face breaking. When it comes together, it's my mentor's face that goes into a nose. So nose, mentor, face break, YouTube logo. So what I do is I keep these thoughts. It can be any ideas. I keep these ideas constantly associating as I'm running slow. And this helps me. This has helped me over the period of time to keep getting new, new ideas. So I'm exercising my creative brain. I'm exercising the thoughts. I'm exercising what is up here. And this really helps me. So, and this really gives me uh, getting better, you know. So how do I get ideas? I get ideas, yes, by reading books, by writing down stuff. But lately, the new strategy that I've adopted in terms of getting new ideas is I go for a long run with no stimulation. There should be no music. There should be, you're not talking to anyone, no phone, no YouTube, no nothing. Blank, total blank. You have this question in your mind and you keep thinking about it. When you, you think about it when you sleep, you think about it when you wake up, you think about it before talking to anyone, keep thinking and you will get ideas. And as soon as you get ideas, you need to write it down after, that is after I came back from my run, immediately before going for a shower, I wrote them down here. I don't know, wait, let me see if you can see them one second, hold on. Uh, you can see here, it says here, uh, how do I find a mentor? You can see how do I find a mentor? Second one is depression. I don't know if you can see it. So I, I wrote down all these points and obviously as you're writing it, you the parts that you forget, then I put it on my screen, my computer screen, which is right in front. So this is how I get my ideas. Uh, remember, as soon as you get up, so if you want to get creative ideas, um, have the question back of your head before you sleep. Immediately after you get up, don't look at any YouTube video, don't look at any Facebook, chatting, notifications, nothing. That's what I do. So I still have the question in my head. You dress up, go for a long run, uh, three to five kilometers. And I'm just constantly, you know, visualizing, imagining and letting my brain just work. And it keeps giving me ideas. So I keep, some ideas will be good, some not so good, whatever. I just memorize them. So by the time I come back, it's still like, you know, the ridiculous associations are there. As soon as I come, I write it down and then I leave it there. And then after that, obviously, I transfer it to Google Docs and then I refer it when I need be. And I'll tell you, that's how I get ideas. And this technique has really helped me generate some really money making ideas, uh, even close of sale, even dealing with business clients, a lot of things. So this is what I do in terms of uh, money making ideas. Um, try it out. Try it out. You never know. You might actually get your next big idea that can really change your life. But keep in mind. Ideas are worthless without implementation. Even though I have all these topics, which is right now on my screen here, it would be useless if I didn't act on it. So I got the ideas in the morning. Uh, no, sorry, when I woke up. I woke up at uh, 12 o'clock. I went for a run at 2 o'clock, yeah. So after I came for a run, uh, then after that I wrote down these ideas, took my wife, went a little outside, spent some time with her because she was pregnant. You know, she has a baby, she's alone. So I went out, came back. I decided to sleep. So when I wake up, mind is fresh and immediately I implemented this idea. And that's how this video has come up. So remember, this is how I, uh, uh, you know, this is how I get my ideas. And uh, as soon as you get the idea, work on it, implement it. Only then it becomes worthwhile. So put your comments down below. I love to read them. I definitely read them. Like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't like it, thumbs down. This is Lloyd from RyanMessido.com. Who's Lloyd Messido? Think about some Ryan saying goodbye for now. Mm. Something different. Yeah, okay. Bye.